Here we are again, another national tragedy that involves an elementary school. It's all over the news, it's all over online, so I wanna to try to help you figure out how to process this with children. Ignoring a problem doesn't make it go away, and telling a curious child not to worry about it doesn't mean they're not worrying about it. It's our first reaction to try to protect kids from news like this because we're afraid it might be too much for them or that it might be too mature for them. And on a broad spectrum about all kinds of traumatic situations, if we leave kids without answers to their questions, they're left to create their own narrative. And when that happens, many times they can bring it back around to themselves and somehow find themselves to blame for a situation. Now, things that happen, like recent events that make national news, kids are gonna have questions about. And here are some ways that you can help them work through that. For starters, be honest with them and have age-appropriate dialogue. Resist the urge to say, oh, it was nothing, don't worry about it. But at the same time, you can tell them what happened while sparing them the details. After that initial discussion, ask them to put a name to their feelings. Are they feeling frustrated or angry or sad? Open up the floor for questions. They're gonna be very curious about what happened and why it happened, and you need to allow them that curiosity and remind them of what to do in a situation where they feel unsafe. And finally, ask them what they would do if they were in charge, because who knows, maybe one day they will be. It gives them that feeling of being able to provide a solution. And we all know we need a solution.